Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install this update that is KB5070773 because of this install error code that is 0x800F0983. Now the first step is to retry the update. So when the update fails, if you see the retry option, hit on retry. Sometimes retry takes care of the problem. If that does not work, in that case, pause and restart the update. To pause the update, you can go to Windows Update and over here you can see Pause Update option. You can click on Pause and then once paused, hit Resume Updates and then you can check. Now, still not working, the next step is to start these services. So type in Services in Windows Search Box, click on Services. Find App Readiness, make a double click on App Readiness, set this to Automatic, click on Apply, click on Start if highlighted and then click on OK make a right click on app readiness click on restart now select uh, find windows update scroll down here you can see windows update make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok make a right click on windows update click on restart now find background intelligent transfer service make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok make a right click then click on restart Now you can try to update your Windows 11 and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run these commands. These commands are provided in the video description. Type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app. Make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. And then copy the first command. All the commands are provided in the video description. Copy it, paste it over here, hit the enter key. Now this will run a scan. In my case, I already ran a scan. So once the scan is 100% complete, copy the second command, paste it on the same window, hit the enter key. And once this scan is 100% complete, run the second command. Once the, uh, th run the third command. Once the third scan is 100% complete, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can try to update. Still not working, use Microsoft Update Catalog. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here, write down the name of the update. That is KB5070773. And then you can search for this update over here. And first of all, before you download anything, type in which version you have. So type in W-I-N-V-E-R, Winver in Windows search box, and then click on Winver run command. And over here, you can check the version. In my case, it's version 2.5H2. And then check what kind of system you have. You can go to system in Windows settings, scroll down, go to about option. And over here, you will see the system type. In my case, it's 64-bit operating system. So for me, it's Windows 11 version 25H2 X64 base system. This is the right one for me. Now, if you have Windows 11 version 24H2 X64, then this is the right one for you. For me, this is the right one. Click on download and then you click on this KB5070773 and let the download complete. Once the file is downloaded, now click on this file. Follow the on screen instruction and you can install this update manually and then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to use fix problems using Windows Update. For this, open Windows settings again. Go to Windows Update. Go to Advanced Options. Scroll down. Go to Recovery option. Over here, you can see fix problems using Windows Update. This will reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, files, and settings will be preserved. So click on Reinstall now. This process will take some time. And once this is done, you will see Repair Version. It will repair your Windows 11 version 2.5H2 Repair Version. Once this is done, now you can uh, click on check for update or you can try to install this update and then check. Still not working. The last step is to use media creation tool. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. It will again take you to Microsoft website. On this website, you will see media creation tool. So finally, it's opening. Now scroll down on this page here. You can see media creation tool. Click on download now. And then you can run this exe file. When you run this exe file, you will see the screen. Click on accept over here. And then you can select by default Windows 11 would be selected over here. Click, just click on next over here. And then select ISO file. Click on next. And then you can save it to desktop. Click on save. Let the download complete. This process will take some time. 
and once the download is complete click on finish once hit finish let this close automatically do not close this manually it will take a uh, take few seconds or maybe a minute to close once done go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file then make a double click on setup file run the setup file click on yes to allow and then click on next click on accept now here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so click on install after the installation log into the computer and then you can try to install this update so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this update successfully and you should not receive this error code anymore so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel